I'm at the beach slash pier with this tiny, pretty much indestructible little rod. And we're gonna see if we can catch some fish. What was it? You were swimming with it. It's so huge! huge. So this is a dock demon right here. We're gonna be using this tiny little itty bitty little rod, but here's the thing with this rod. It's nearly indestructible. I've had a long history with the dock demon. I've, I've done a lot of very strange tests with it. Look at that! And let me tell you, it's pretty strong. So basically, I wanna find out, is this a good rod to kinda of just have around for your kids or your friends? Is this? Is this a good rod to just have in general in your arsenal? Or is it just all some silly gimmicky nonsense? This is just such a portable little rod I can just fit in my back my backpack or like my, my car. Let's see if we can catch some, some nice fish on a little tiny rod. Okay, before I test it, I'm gonna see if there's some fish here. I'm gonna use my regular rod first. I'll test out some action and then I'll get back to it. I'm trying to find a small little mullet. So now I tied this into a circle hook so that if anything runs, all I had to do is reel it. Since I don't have that distance, I don't have that length, I'm just going to start reeling really fast. Oh, it's pretty easy to cast actually, and it went it went a good distance. So all I gotta do is wait for a fish to bite. I think I think that uh, it'll be good. I was on for a second. Crazy. Nice, that was I lost a fish and then on the way back it hit this one hit it. Now this is what I call professional right there. <laughs> a professional tiny rod. <laughs> That's a really good size eating blue right there. See that? That's a really great size eating blue. Got one? On a fish, you gotta wait your turn. Don't don't go and cast over top of anyone's line. You have to kind of watch what's going on and choose when to actually fish. That's the kind of the key of fishing in crowds. Nice. Got a trout. See now, I might have an opportunity to go in now that his line is out.
think so. How is it stuck? Did you see that take it away? I think it just took me right into under the pier and snapped me off. Okay. That one took me under the pier and snapped me off. I just tied the exact same thing again. Which is another Carolina rig. And this rig works well because it can roll around on the bottom there. And it really naturally presents your fish. There you go. I'll put another mullet on it. The big ones get bitten in half. Yes, they do. The small yes, ones get swallowed. Do. Yeah, it was huge. It was peeling my drag. Huh? I got a huge something biting it. I don't know what that was. You got a flounder? What, trying for flounder under the pier? Yeah. So nothing was biting on the side of the pier, so we're gonna try under the pier now. Like, literally under the pier. Because I see fish busting around there. Yeah, perfect, perfect, perfect.
get that? You are swimming with it. Did you see the fish? No. Did you? That was huge. Holy crap. I was like in, did you see that? I was like in the water. That thing was humongous. This thing was not strong enough to like, it just didn't have enough power to like tire it out. Okay. It was like pulling me in the water. I had to put my foot on the pillar like that so that it wouldn't pull me anymore because the front of me was really deep. Oh my God. I gotta try again. I got him good that time. This was small compared to that last one. That last one was enormous. I had to horse him in. I had to bring him in really fast. Ooh. Oh, that's on one. Ooh. There you go, buddy. Oh, ah. that, oh, I know, right? Come on, let's get it up. Not so. It was not so. That was not so. Wow. 20, 25 and a half. Oh my god. Yeah. That's a small one. That last one was enormous. I think we gotta get back out there right now. get up to my neck in water but like it was fun fighting it neck neck deep into water but I wasn't doing that just for fun like in order for me to bring the fish in because the fish is gonna try and move left and right those those pillars are gonna snap my line so I have to move to the left so it doesn't snap and sometimes I have to, I have to move it forward like this so that my line doesn't snap So once you hook the fish, that's not even the that's not even the hard part. What hooking the fish is the easy part. Bringing it in and fighting it and bringing it in tactfully, that's that's the hard part. I missed that first really big one, but that second one, I really had to like move left, right, and then bring it in. That was awesome. Well, 
I don't know, I might switch because honestly this is kind of difficult. It's a little inconvenient, but I don't know, it honestly feels fun because I've been catching some nice fish on this little rod. It shows that you don't really need a really big fancy rod. You can do it with anything. It's really just a matter of like, what do you prefer to use, you know? All right, I'm gonna go back to, to, my, to my original spot, see if there's anything back on the side of the beach again. I just lucked out landing on the small rod because that was a smaller fish. That big one, oh, actually I did land that big one almost. I brought it past the pillars. I just need to remember to keep walking back. Once I get it past those pillars, just keep walking back. I gotta retie this rig, you see this? That's gonna make me lose my fish. See how it's frayed like this? I need to retie that. This time the time went a little heavier, honestly. I'm gonna go 50 pound. Because why not? Okay, so I've also got my bait box here. This I hold my fresh baits, my salted baits. Right now I've got all my salted baits in here. I don't have any fresh, but I can use some clam. There's also some shrimp, some squid, lots of stuff you can add on to your hook. Um, but this is a great box to just have around. All right, let's go. There's some fish. Let's go. Look, it already has some shrimp inside its mouth. Okay, so I switched over to a normal sized rod now. First cast, got a fish. Pretty, it's actually a lot easier to hook up on the fish using a, a longer rod. So a small rod like this, it's been a lot of fun, but honestly, it's really good if you just want to throw it in your backpack or like throw it in your truck, you have kids, you just want to go quickly fishing, you want to be like lightweight, it's really good for that. But it doesn't have the power of like a long, actual big rod. Like something like this, an eight foot rod, medium heavy, is more ideal because you have fighting power. It actually allows you to tire the fish out. Um, this is, you know, since it's so flimsy, it's harder for the fish to tire out. It's harder for you to control any kind of fish. Um, and ultimately, the big rod is better for if you're trying to seriously get some fish. This is better if you just you want to get out and get, get on fish right away. You know, it's just so easy and convenient. I can fit this in my back pocket. Can't break it. <laughs> and it's like indestructible too. So like that's also another really great perk about it. I'm going to get back out there, see what I can catch. Casting is kind of difficult too. Casting is difficult too because you don't have that length of it like 
catapulting it out. You have to use your arm as the length to, to cast it. And yeah, I gotta walk out a little further than everyone else because I can't cast as far as everyone. And honestly, I don't typically like using novelty rods, but this has been working all right. Because when I'm fishing, I just want to like, really, I want to get on some fish. I don't want to kind of play around, but this has been working. Oh! Crap, just took it. Yeah, it's got a big bite. There's a bluefish chopping in it past. Wow, yeah, they're bluefish Yeah, my bait's probably chopped in half. Let's check it. Took my whole bait. day fishing at the pier with all my friends everyone got on some fish including us we got on some I got on a nice uh, red drum that was really fun to bring in on that little tiny rod but ultimately I think that for me personally I like using big rod better because I would have landed those other bigger fish I would have land I would have gotten more opportunities to land more fish uh, but this little tiny thing worked it worked just fine it requires a little more skill to be able to bring in a bigger fish but um, honestly, I think it'll be great for kids, great for you to put in the back of your truck. Um, just an all-in-all all really fun little rod to have around. I really hope you guys enjoy this episode. And if you like this video, if you like our show, I encourage you guys to hit the subscribe button and hit that little notification bell on the side, and that will alert you every time we put out a new video. Also, if you want to hear about our newest products or our newest news, we've got a, a email newsletter that you can join. It's going to be in the link in the description below and we'll email you every time we do giveaways, every time we've got a new product, anytime we've got like some news to tell you guys. So subscribe to our YouTube channel and also check out our email list. If you guys want to help support us, we've got a whole line of different baits that we like to use and sell. So I've got all these stuff like this. These, these floats work really well in putting it on, on a Carolina rig. It attracts fish in because they look like sand fleas. I sell these floats. I sell these pre-tied rigs as well. And uh, I have many different colors, different sizes, but this is called the catch-all rig. You can pretty much just tie it up. You pretty much just tie it right onto your, your line. Put some of this um, salty bits bait on here, and you're ready to catch some fish on the surf. You're ready to catch fish wherever. If you don't have fresh bait, this is a perfect thing to um, just have in your backpack in general. And this is a great way to support our channel. If you guys want to uh, get on some fish, check out our products. We also, we also write a lot of uh, books about how to read the surf, how to use different kinds of baits. Um, and if you want to learn a little bit more, I encourage you to check out our website, heyskipperfishing.com. We have a ton of different books on there. I want to say thank you to everyone out there giving us love, giving us support. We cannot do it without you guys. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. I'll see you guys next week.